Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry today attended church with the Queen after Her Majesty promised they would always be part of the royal family. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex smiled as they drove to the Royal Chapel of All Saints in Windsor after being invited by the 93-year-old in a sweet gesture. Prince Harry was seen driving while Meghan stood next to him in a fascinator and dropped earrings in one of their last events before quitting as royals. And people reported Her Majesty had wanted to support Meghan and Harry with the invite to church today. A source said, It was a really sweet gesture that the Queen asked them to church. It's telling in the sense that these two are still her family. And as a family they all love each other. The Queen was this morning seen arriving for the Sunday service at the Windsor Church in sunglasses and a pale blue outfit. Earlier this week Harry sat down with the Queen in a four-hour heart-to-heart -heart, with Her Majesty telling her grandson he would always be welcomed back into the family. The Queen had also issued a rare emotional statement about the couple as the Mexit details were finalized, saying they will always be much-loved members of her family. And royal biographer Robert Lacey said, she has a particular sensitivity to what Harriet has been going through because of her closeness to Margaret and seeing the same drama's intentions played out two generations ago. The Queen had previously watched her younger sister Princess Margaret struggle with being in her shadow, it was claimed. But despite being happy Meghan and Harry have returned to visit, her Majesty is very sad that the couple didn't bring Archie back to the UK. Meghan and Harry are understood to be staying at Frogmore Cottage in Windsor while they are back in Britain, a home they kept after promising to pay back the $3.1 million of taxpayer money spent on refurbishing the property. They have been busy with a whirlwind of final engagements, last night heading to the Mountbatten Festival of Music which celebrates the Royal Marines. And Meghan headed to Robert Clack School, Bagingham, East London to mark International Women's Day, where a cheeky student managed to get a hug. It was there that the former actress revealed 10-month-old Archie is starting to walk. Today, their Instagram account posted photos of the Duchess' visit to the school describing Meghan as a lifetime advocate and campaigner for gender equity. In the post, Meghan paid tribute to Geraldine Deere, one of the strikers who pushed for the Equal Pay Act. She said, This is the best example of no matter how small you might feel, how low you may feel on the ladder or the totem pole, no matter what color you are, no matter what gender you are, you have a voice, and you certainly have the right to speak up for what is right. Farewell Tour On Monday, Meghan and Harry will be reunited with Kate and William for the Commonwealth Service, the first time the Fab Four have been pictured together in months. But despite reports there could be frostiness between the couples, sources told LMT Channel that Meghan, who has left baby Archie back home in Canada, is looking forward to the events. They said, the last few weeks have done Meghan the power of good. She has a real spring in her step and is excited and honored to be part of so many important events. She is particularly proud to be with Harry tonight at an event she knows means so much to him. Cheeky lad, 16 steals a kiss from Meghan Markle during her school visit to mark International Women's Day. International Women's Day is. I know there's going to be one of you. Otherwise, it'll be one. Right? Another report. 
Their farewell tour draws to a close tomorrow, the curtain falling, apparently for good, on their royal life. Luck for the Duke of Sussex. If not the Duchess, the day is unlikely to prove as poignant as the event attended by the couple last night at the Royal Albert Hall. They were, however, determined to go out in style. Drawing gasps from the waiting crowd, the Duchess dazzled in a $1,690 Sophia calico scarlet gown, more than complimenting the red ceremonial uniform Harry wore in his final engagement as Captain General of the Royal Marines. It is the highest ranking of his honorary military titles, which he will relinquish under the Mexic terms agreed with the Queen. He spent a decade in the army, and as stirring military laments echoed around him at the Mountbatten Festival of Music, few would have blamed him had tears welled up in his eyes. As it was, he appeared visibly moved when he and his wife received a long round of applause and a standing ovation as they took their seats in the royal box. The event marked the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War, as well as the 80th anniversary of the formation of Britain's commandos, and showcased the outstanding versatility of some of the world's finest military musicians. At one point, the Duke and Duchess sang and clapped along to Delilah during a medley of Tom Jones hits. This was Harry's penultimate fixture, while Meghan will today attend an event to mark International Women's Day. Tomorrow we'll see the Sussexes' last official engagement before they step down as working royals on March 31st. Normally the royal family's participation in the annual Commonwealth Day service stirs only moderate interest, but this year is of course different. On a day laden with significance, not only will Harry and Meghan take their final bow before the watching world at Westminster Abbey, they will be publicly reunited with the Queen, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. The Duchess flew in from Canada last Monday, but waited in the wings at Frogmore Cottage, the couple's home in Windsor, until Thursday before making her first public appearance on British soil since January 7th. After attending a Buckingham Palace investiture, the Sussexes had lunch with friends at the nearby Goring Hotel, where Meghan appeared in good spirits. For reasons unclear, the couple left separately, but later arrived arm in arm beneath an umbrella at Mansion House for the annual Endeavour Fund Awards ceremony. The following day, the Duke was at the Silverstone Circuit to open a new museum, accompanied by Lewis Hamilton the Formula One world champion. Once again, the public turnout was low. Although police had set up barriers, only 10 people turned up, and they all appeared to be fans of Hamilton. Harry remained sixth in line to the throne and will retain his military ranks of major, lieutenant commander and squadron leader, but not use his honorary military positions. The roles will remain unfilled during a 12-month trial period, leaving the door open for him to return. Another analysis. The Duchess of Sussex may have been sending a subtle message she's focusing on good fortune and her growing love for Prince Harry during Mexit, with the help of her jewelry. Meghan Markle has favored gold charm necklaces on recent appearances, selecting jewels with hidden messages for two of her public appearances since returning to the UK on Thursday. The royal, who is known for her love of highly personalized jewelry, opted for a love pendant by designer Sophie Liss for her visit to the National Theatre Gallery on Thursday, which refers to a French poem about enduring and growing love. Meanwhile, she donned the edge of Ember's kismet charm necklace during her appearance at a school in Dagenham on Friday, which features a four-leaf clover as a good fortune icon. Meghan opted to wear one dainty piece while visiting the National Theatre on Thursday, donning the monochrome white outfit to highlight the striking piece. The medallion, made by designer Sophie Liss, carries the engraving couleur after a diamond encrusted plus sign and Q de Maine, followed by a ruby minus sign. 
the designer shared a photo of Megan wearing the piece, titled The Love Pendant, on Instagram yesterday. She wrote, Can't stop admiring this special lady, praying for her marriage to be a lasting success, and that her family should reconcile so that she lives in peace. Love Harry and Megan. 10% of the sales of each necklace, which comes with a price tag of $520, go to the animal welfare charity Wild at Heart Foundation. Meanwhile on Friday, the Royal also opted for a bold pendant when visiting a school in Dagenham. The Duchess selected the Edge of Ember's Kismet Charm Necklace, which costs just $163 for the visit. Online, the piece is described as a modern-day talisman, which was inspired by vintage coins found in Asia, which represent icons of good fortune. It features a four-leaf clover with the lucky number seven for two doses of good fortune. Megan has long favored delicate gold jewelry and has become known for selecting highly personal pieces for royal appearances. So there you have it, that's all the news on Meghan and Prince Harry situation today. As always, thanks for listening. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press that notification bell if you want to be notified of future videos. Thank you. Don't stop.